What's up, guys? It is uh, the next day after I shot a, a really big buck for uh, for around here. I'm so definitely blessed. Um, I was going to walk him back down here real quick. I didn't get um, any footage of the shot, man. I have We have sucked it up this year to have the season that we've had and not, <laughs> not get any better footage. But um, it just happened so quick. Dang deer was in here on me. And um, I actually made an attempt to video it with my phone. And um, the phone slipped in my hand while I was actually trying to shoot the deer and covered up the lens with my hand. And anyway, it kind of got all messed up, so it didn't work out. But um, we got the deer, that's all that mattered. Um, I shared that footage with y'all of the recovery and everything, but um. I check back with y'all when I get down here. Like I said, I'm gonna show y'all. Yeah, show y'all the setup. So I'm climb up here in the stand to show you real quick. And the one that I shot yesterday, he was just cruising, man. He come out, he came walking, kind of right down through here. And I heard him walking. I couldn't see him, and then he stopped on me. Right in that little thicket, that little green thicket right there. He stopped behind them bushes. And that, I think he saw something, saw some movement. I'm not real sure. He locked up and I had to you know, shoot him through some of that thick stuff. And I got fortunate that I made a good shot and got him. He turned and ran right up in there, but he didn't go 50 yards. usually get shook up but I'm a little shook up right now I just shot a really big buck down here in this swamp and I thought I freaking blew it because he was in a bunch of thick stuff but I got blood um I'm trying to decide if I need to give him a few minutes Go get Bailey what I need to do. Check back with y'all. Man, I'm about to get freaking emotional, man. This I don't, I don't deserve this to even happen, man. I just shot a big and I mean a big and I, no pictures. This is why you hunt in the swamp, man. No pictures of this deer. Nothing. No history, no nothing.
and was walking. Oh my God, man. Oh my God, I cannot believe this. It's happened to me. Oh my gosh, y'all. This is unbelievable. I'm walking up to him for the first time right now. What just happened? What? What? What in the what? What? Y'all, I don't even know what what to say. Oh my god. How many points this thing got? One, two. I just, I just killed a giant. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Dear sweet Jesus, man. I, I don't, I don't know what to say, y'all. Well, I deserve this to even happen. Unbelievable. Thank you, Lord. As I sit down on the ground down in this swamp, man, this is a special place. And to just had this happen, uh, I don't even know, man. Hey, good morning, guys. It's um our first day. It's deer season is out here in Alabama, so it's Sunday, February the eleventh. Um, I want to do a quick update. Hope you stay to the end of the video. Cause I want to share some information I found out about that buck I shot that um that we didn't have any pictures or anything of. I had no idea the deer even existed. And um he comes walking by me, you know, at 40, 40 yards. But um as after I posted the picture on um uh, on social media, I had three different people that reached out to me that actually had pictures of the deer. And what um what was interesting was how much he roamed at least for me in, the, in this part of the state where it's real thick and I mean, you know, there's cover everywhere. This buck still from as far, the one guy that I talked to had pictures of him back in the summer, even in velvet, was a mile and a half from here. And then the guy who had pictures of him below me up to at least half a mile, maybe a little farther. I mean, The deer had at least traveled, you know, had a range of two miles. Um, and this, of course, during the ruts. I mean, I know he was roaming more than usual. But um, but it still was interesting to me that deer had covered that much ground. And that many different people had had pictures of him. And when I pull up a map, I think he covered about six different properties or more. And, um, and again, I mean, there was uh, multiple pictures of him in velvet early season but um the guys i talked to the ones who've been getting him you know all year said about two weeks ago you know he, he disappeared so obviously that's when he was doing his thing and roman looking for does but um but it's just it amazes me what these deer do and um, i guess i'm not surprised it just shows you that hey you know you think you've got you know, you might have this buck or you don't have any bugs or whatever, but when the, when it's the right time of the year and you're in the right place, it, um, anything can happen. I mean, cameras are great. Sometimes I think I rely on them too much, but um, they're really just a little piece 
of the puzzle. And I guess that's kind of the takeaway I wanted to share real quick. It was one, this that deer's, you know, ability to roam and cover that much ground. You know, and so many different people, you know, and that's just the three people I talked to. There's probably more. Well, I know there was a fourth guy. I never actually talked to him, but I know I heard he had pictures of him too. You know, up and down, you know, this swamp where we live. And I, I, I think that's, that's amazing. But, um, but yeah, man, you know, use your cameras, but don't put so much into cameras if you use them. Some people don't even use cameras, and sometimes I wish I didn't. But, um, but we use them some. I like to kind of know what's going on, what's around. It does help us age deer sometimes, so we know when we see a deer, you know, if we want to let that deer go or whatever. But, um, but it is a small piece of the puzzle. We don't have any cameras down there. No corn, nothing in that in that area where we were hunting. We were just hunting it because it's just a natural travel area for these bucks during the rut. So, hey, thank y'all for watching the video. It's turkey season up next. And um, if we can get on as many turkeys as we have bucks this year, we'll be doing, be doing all right. So y'all stay with us. God bless y'all.